I'm Jen and I'm a PhD researcher here in the EIL and I carry out my research in fuel cell materials. So what is a fuel cell? Well a fuel cell converts hydrogen and oxygen into water to generate electricity. Unlike a battery, which is an energy storage device, fuel cells are energy conversion devices. And this means that the chemical energy that's stored in the bonds of the hydrogen and oxygen is converted into electrical energy that can be used in a wide range of applications. For example, low temperature fuel cells that operate in the region of about 60 to 100 degrees C can be used for vehicles, buses, and trains. For example, the RV1 bus route in London is currently operating fuel cell buses. Higher temperature fuel cells, so solid oxide fuel cells, that run at 600 to 1000 degrees C are more suitable for use in things like combined heat and power in the home. Here in the EIL, we carry out research into these two main types of fuel cells. Low temperature polymer electrolyte fuel cells, such as this single cell here, or this fuel cell stack, and also higher temperature solid oxide fuel cells, as I said, they operate at much higher temperatures. We carry out our research using a range of characterization techniques, such as this electrochemical test rig station, but also using the range of characterization techniques that we have using X-rays in the X-ray suite, as well as national and international facilities that are synchrotron and neutron sources. Our research has also led to two successful spin-out companies. The first, Amelis, developed state-of-the-art catalysts and the second, Bramble Energy, are the pioneers of the low-cost PCB fuel cell. For more information, visit our website ucl.ac.uk forward slash EAL or follow us on Facebook or Twitter at UCLEAL.